Random day, not working on the CRX, but I got a big surprise for the CRX. It's not priority, but because of the price, because of what it is, I had to pick them up. I just got back, picked them up. Let me show you guys what's going in the CRX. Well, obviously not the kids, but we got us two Bride Low Max bucket seats for the CRX, y'all. We got us some bucket seats for the CRX. Don't mind the little ones. They don't come with the seats, but yes, we got us some bucket seats. These are seats that I've been wanting for a long time. And like I said, because of the price and what they were and the condition, I had to jump on them. Pause. We got us two bride seats, boys. Passenger and driver side going to be looking really, really good in the CRX. What is up? What is up? What is up? It's another day. It's another video. Before we get started, I get a notification. A notification that a part has arrived at my doorstep. Yeah, buddy. Let's open her up and show y'all what I got. Obviously, I know exactly what part this is y'all don't know but i'm gonna bring it over here by the crx so i could open it up and show you guys what we got so unfortunately my uh, tripod broke i ordered another one so right now you're just leaning on my trailer and a tire but get the box cutter let's open this bad boy up this comes from just so you guys know uh, freak, where the hell is, oh, Kansas, I believe it's Kansas, from the CRX farm. If you guys don't know the CRX farm, it's the homie, Jeremy Freeman. This guy got CRX parts for days. All right, so here we go. And he boxes it up pretty damn good. So you can't be mad at the way he boxed it up. Now see, I'm opening it up right here with y'all. So first off, we've got this little part that I had asked him to cut out of the other, of a CRX. Let me show you guys. So you see that right there where the rear hatch, um, I forgot, shock for the trunk is. You see how cooked, how cooked that is. So I asked him you know to send me another one and what he did is he cut out a piece from another CRX which is nice and pretty so what I'm gonna have to do is figure out where which I already kind of see those three dots those two dots I might have to lift it up from underneath but there's a couple more dots down here but you see that this bolt is in perfect perfect condition so I'm gonna have to um, spot weld drill the spot welds out and then do the same on this side sorry same on this side and re-weld it so that I have a new nut pause so now what's up next is drum roll please have us some ZC JDM headlights in good condition you can tell that whoever had it before they tried to um, like restore them and re-clear them I am gonna do the same thing um, hell yeah man now I could actually use my carbon fiber ZC hood sorry I keep calling it a ZC my carbon fiber hood SIR style hood with these headlights because I'm not sure if you guys know the difference, but like the JDM and the USDM, this part here has much more of a slant than the American version, which is like here. It's very like sharp. This one extends the light a lot further. So obviously the different hood 
different bumper headlights are different from Japan to what they are here so we got us some ZC headlights boys got both pairs boom I want to try to like somewhat mount them with the hood and see if everything uh, lines up properly I want to try and look for then you can't even see my brother in the background it's so damn bright there he is I'm trying to look for my USDM headlights so that I could show you guys the difference between the USDM and the JDM ones but it's kind of mission in here kind of difficult but I'll show you guys what it looks like in a second all right no luck on the USDM headlights I know they're in here I know they're in here 100 percent 100 percent but um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just bolt up the headlights, not, not tight or nothing, but just so that they are in place and whatnot. And then I'm going to try to get the hood, bring the hood out, see how it fits, all that good stuff. Probably just going to put just like one or two bolts on it like I said just to keep it in place so we can see what we work with and I did buy a pack of brand new 10 millimeter uh, bolts I believe it was from, uh, damn it, something restore, restore, something. I forgot. I, if I remember to do it, I'll put it in the um, comment section. I'm sorry. In the, I'll put it down below, damn it. They're not on there tight, they're just enough to hold it on. Now, let's go ahead and grab the carbon fiber hood and bring her on now. Put her on the hinges and uh, continue on, man. Y'all see, y'all, y'all see who it is? Look, look who back there, look who back there. She hasn't been here in a while. All right, so Hi guys, I missed you.
like snug, then that's why you need to No, I can see the I can see the move. Moment of truth, guys. We have the hood on with my beautiful assistant, Nat. We're gonna go ahead and lay her down. Me? Yeah. Right now? Lay the, the hood, oh. woman. Dang, there's kids <laughs> watching. Ooh! It's a little rusty right now. Oh, Shut your... Sorry. Nat, can we Hell get yeah, fellas, look at that. Beautiful freaking fitment. Obviously now, when you guys get, well, when I, you guys, when I get the uh, JDM <coughs> bumper, it's going to come up a little bit to here and cover up that extra little gap that's on both sides. Now, this, obviously, it needs to still be adjusted, but you guys can see Division. how it's fitting and how it's looking. <laughs> so, Natalie was just asking me if all this nastiness and cracks or whatnot are going to come out of the carbon fiber hood, and I told her, well, I'm trying to tell her, she just don't let me talk. But I I'm trying to tell her that yes, when it gets down to that point, I'm gonna sand down the carbon fiber hood to just above the actual just carbon above. fiber to Not get past, rid of just above. to get rid of all the cracks and imperfections and then re-clear it or reseal it with the so uh will it still be the same color. Yes, it's still gonna end up being like that blackish color. It's just gonna be brand spanking new. Mm, got it. You Ladies it, you and gents, it, tell me if y'all deal with y'all partner, your your Did individual you in the comments. <laughs> Please tell me if y'all go through the same headache that I do with Natalie. Yo, this looks good, man. I'm stoked. Like, it's crazy the small things that make us so like excited and brings us back to how much we love doing what we do like y'all see that the crx still needs a lot of help a lot but like seeing little things like this where it stuff lines up you know what i'm saying like it's awesome it's awesome it's awesome. so now what i have to do is find a bumper if anybody knows or has 9091 front bumper uh, JDM or SIR I'm not sure the terminology and I'm sorry but for a good price not rape I prefer obviously OEM well no 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 not prefer I want OEM please let me know hit me up in the comments or hit me up on my IG I'll post it right here um, in Flocko we trust all together I N F L A C O W E T R U S T hit me up man let me know if you guys know of anybody now I think just for time's sake even though it really wasn't anything crazy I'm probably gonna go ahead and just leave the hood and the headlights on the CRX um, but I do want to clean the headlights the backside of them so I'm gonna go ahead take them off and just clean the backside so that mentally I know hey I already cleaned them they're good to go and then later down the road I'm gonna go ahead and sand them and re-clear the headlights so that they're in nice nice good shape and if you have been following my channel don't worry about that hole there's actually a vent like a, a an air duct that goes in so I purposely cut this hole and purposely put it here um, for that reason which is gonna be dope because since I'm going K you guys see where the hole ends up let's take a look one more time it's pretty much right where that mount is the driver's side mount so when I go since I'm going K there's the K your intake is gonna end up in this area my intake filter is gonna end up in this area so I'm pretty much doing quote unquote a cold air intake if that makes any sense so let me go ahead and take the headlights off let me clean them up and show you guys what they look like like a before and after so here are the headlights from the back side 
and I'll show you guys what they look like from the front. Now the front I'm not gonna worry too much about. I'm not gonna really um, like sand it down right now and re-clear them. I'll do that in another day, another video. But I just wanna clean them up a little bit, man, just to get some of that grime off of it. So I'm just gonna be using like these two style brushes, uh, this red rag right here, like a mechanic rag, and literally just some super clean degreaser and see as much what I can get off as much as I can. Just put some degreaser into the bucket, some water and scrub away. So that's what they look like and then I'll show you guys what they look like afterwards. coming off pretty good so far just one headlight done but you can see the difference I'm not even look at the damn difference look at the gray and the burnt on this side way bigger difference man let's check out the front obviously the front's gonna it's gonna shine a little bit more because of the water but you can see the potential of it uh, with the water so I'm not going to bore you guys with cleaning this one as well. I'm literally going to do the same exact process with the brush uh, and the rag and just clean them up as good as I can. Damn, they look good though, man. That looks really, really, really good. I'm very happy with that outcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. I never showed you guys the finished product of the gazebo pergola me and my father actually made. But um, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you learned something. Nah, not really learned something because I didn't do too much work on the actual CRX. But y'all saw, we got us the bride seats. We got us the JDM headlights. We got the part for the uh, the trunk strut. So we're getting somewhere, man. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Y'all know the vibes, man. Chase the dream, not the competition. Peace, guys.